Well, hello there, and welcome back to episode two of Wildcraft SMP, season two. Now, you may notice that this is not the house we finished with last episode, and that's because due to some server hiccups, some things had to be reset slash pushed back, and that unfortunately got rid of my house. But that's fine. That's fine. I was going to have a, like a fun time lapse for you guys to see me build this new house, but it, it, that my footage decided to be stupid. So that didn't happen either, but that's okay. It's okay. Today, my goal is to work on my cafe, which means adding a road to spawn, maybe gathering some materials, just starting to look into how to make stuff with a Dorn and figuring out what resources I need, seeing if there's like cups, what kind of food we can make. So we're going to be looking into a lot of things. There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to make a kitchen. I want to start looking into recipes. All right. But first, let me give you just a little breakdown of the house that we got going on here. So new crop patch built nothing crazy. We got two sheepies over here hanging out, having a good time. And then this is the house. It's much less of a starter house. Although for some people, this still would be a starter house for me. It's not. I'm hoping to be here for a while. So we got the nice first floor right here with my bed currently. I want to make a kitchen down here and I think I want to move my bed up here where I'd also like to have some cute living room stuff. Then right up here, we have my very necessary, and I do mean this, storage. <laughs> I have to have organized storage from like the get go or I have a bad time. Got some empty barrels here. Nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? So that's how things are looking so far. Spawn still looks pretty much the same, except James has added just like a little area here where he's selling, selling some stuff. So lots of really cool things. And I have no diamonds right now, so we can't really do that. We also got free knife since the recipe is broken, which I took one because I feel like I might need it. But what I want to do is I want to flatten this a little bit and I want to add a road straight out from here. My goal is to probably take this down, maybe raise this up and uh, just see what we got going on. Cause that's just, wow, this is so pretty. Minecraft really is gorgeous y'all. It's just so pretty, but we got to figure out what kind of build palette we want to work with because that's very important. So I think I might go mining first and then from there after we get some resources we'll just have a little look see and see what happens all right i'll probably just do a little time lapse for my mining because i don't feel like narrating while i'm mining but my goal is to get some iron so i have some material here maybe even find some cute stone down in the caves that could be really good for like a road all right i think it'd be fun to build like a road road with like sidewalks so i'm thinking maybe some soapstone and then maybe for the sidewalks either like andesite or there's a couple other stones. So I will show you my haul when I'm done. session fun that little montage we even got some diamonds and that goblin trader dude he's like op if i hadn't smelted my iron i would have got more iron than what i had anyways we need to remember that for the future it was great we're gonna head back up to the surface now well eventually i want to explore whatever the hell this is also i don't like those eyeballs those are kind of scary but yeah it looks really cool here and uh i think i see a geode over there and you guys might have also seen one in that recording of the montage. So we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. It was just over here. Ah, here it is. We found it. No big deal. It's our own personal amethyst literally right under our house. It was meant to be ours. It truly was. Plus I freaking love calcite. It does lead to a cave, but is it, but is it scary? No, it appears to be blocked in. Thank God. Okay. Our own little safety bubble here. Plus, there's more soap stuff. This is everything. So I'm just going to take a second to clear out this thing here. Get anything I feel like is necessary from it. 
light it up a little bit. I wanna get all of the buds to be fully exposed. That way it'll just continuously grow even when I'm not present. So this will take two seconds for you guys and I'll be right back. All right, here we have every single bud exposed except I missed that side of that one. But what I wanna do eventually is inspired by Lizzie's Empire's SMP amethyst where she kind of has it like little pathways to all of them so she can easily access them. I don't know if I'll do that today. I don't know if I'll do that on camera. I like doing some stuff off camera. It gives me a lot more creativity. I love recording, but sometimes like when I'm building on recordings, like I just don't, I don't know. But we have so many, dude. We have so many like buds here and I think it'll help me find them better if I kind of like don't just have them open like this or if I have a way where it's just them and they're kind of isolated. So I do think eventually I will build little pads around them. We are going to head back up now. How much soapstone do I got? I got a decent amount. I do think I should maybe grab some more, but I think I have some upstairs too. So we're gonna go back up. We're gonna look at how hard it is to make the soapstone bricks. That's what I wanna make the spawn road with. I just think it'll look very nice. You know what I'm saying? But it's also gonna require quite a bit of shovels. And right now I really only have stone. So let's see, soapstone. And we can do brick slabs too, if we really want to. It takes polished soapstone, which just takes soapstone. So polished soapstone, boop, goes like that. And then soapstone bricks goes like that. Nice. Let me look at, this could do really well for, do we have anything to craft calcite cal? Ah, oh, they gave us polished calcite bricks. They know the way to my heart. But I think we could also just do polished calcite. Could look really nice. Or just calcite itself. Let me only do one. Let me compare. See, that looked pretty nice for a sidewalk, I think, versus just plain old calcite. Cause I kind of like the edges as far as like a sidewalk goes. So I think that's what we'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and try to craft up a couple. We only have four. We're gonna run out of iron so fast, y'all. Run out of iron so fast. I'm gonna put some stuff away and then we're gonna head over to spawn, all right? Okay, all right, so we're gonna run to spawn. I think I want the road to be three wide. I think that'll look nice. We dig out like a five wide space. I'll just dig this out, lay down some road and come back to you guys. All right. It's time for another montage. a road building montage to be sure we're out of road now we're not out of calcite but we are out of soapstone i do like it so far it's really cute now i'm thinking i want to put my cafe right here i think it'd look really cute if we had a little deck that could overlook this guy over here like that'd be really pretty i do think i see some seeds down there hello cabbage all right i think we already have cabbage is this also cabbage hello broccoli i'll take it thank you very much Yep, I certainly haven't had that before because I got some new recipes unlocked. I'm going to place a plot out for my place so that no one else takes it. And I will say, you know, future cafe. Like I will put a sign down. We'll go ahead and we will block that out with some dirt because we have so much dirt. Ooh, corn. Give. Boop. A sign. Wonderful. And let's go ahead and like plot out about where we want this bad boy to be. Here-ish. And I will put down... um future home of apples built. I don't want to spoil it yet, you know? We've got some stuff made and now we're gonna go back home and we're gonna play around with seeing what we need to make a kitchen, which actually we'll look at that real quick. We'll look at that real quick. If I type in like sink, for example, does this require quartz? Requires a bucket. Okay, that's totally doable. And then if I look into at croptopia, okay. Okay, okay, we got lots of cute stuff here. We're gonna have to get a cooking pot. It looks like we're gonna need a lot of iron, which we currently do not have. Yeah, we're gonna need a ton of iron. We're gonna need so much iron and probably some glass. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of glass and a lot of iron, currently of which I do not have very much. So 
I'm just gonna go mining for a little bit. You guys don't need to see me mine every single time. I'm gonna do a little bit of resource gathering off camera. And when I come back, we will get together to work on the kitchen, all right? Three hours later. All right, I ended up finding a lush cave where I met one of those cool goblin traders again, and I got a lot of iron for my buck. They're amazing. I love those goblin traders. I'm hoping to find another one because I have a lot of raw copper, and I just wanna like turn it into not raw copper. I feel a lot better about how much iron we got. We can probably get kitted up. We did get some diamonds as well, but then I realized that iron primarily spawns you have the highest chance of finding iron at around Y16 as opposed to down where diamonds are, which is at like negative 59. So I end up coming back up here and this is like my iron strip mine now. We found this cute lush cave over here that goes to the surface. And eventually I wanna figure out where that opening is. We could just like swim up right now. Maybe we will, maybe we'll go swim up real quick. We did also grab two axolotls because I love axolotls and I saw them and I was like, you're mine, stolen, congratulations. This appears to lead to the surface and I kinda of wanna know where it goes, so. Let's hop in. Let's head up. Let's see what we see. Dude, all of that from one little source block right here. Okay. Oh, and that's right there by the ocean. All right, let me just gently land over here. Is there a place I can kind of dig out? I'll dig out here. My house is right there. Okay. All right, so we got a little entrance to a lush cave. There's two glares that already spawned down there. Hi, besties. I know it's dark there. Also, we have a black bear in our forest. This is them. I love, hi buddy, I love you to death. You're so sweet. Absolute child. We got all sorts of animals. We just got turkeys by our house. I digress. We got a decent amount of iron. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I do want to eventually breed up my sheep here so we can get a couple more sheep. I want to grow this farm a little bit because I did get some more crops. Let's see, let's see what we need to make some kitchen stuff. I wanna make cabinets. If we go to, let me type in cabinet. Cool, Farmer's Delight has cabinets. I wanna make those, but first we need to figure out what kind of, if I go back to adorn, we got these countertops, right? That I wanna make also. Aspen could look nice, cause this isn't Aspen. But I feel like also just like oak or dark oak. Ooh, so let's go upstairs. I think we have a decent amount of dark oak. Um, yeah, we got a decent amount of dark oak. And then do we have any andesite right now? Okay, we do, we do, we do. Yeah, I think kitchen cupboard, it requires counters and a chest. We'll make some counters. And then I also wanna make some shelves. Cool, I think we'll make a couple of those. We kinda need some slabs. I like these posts, these seem really nice. To make a kitchen sink, we need a counter and a bucket. We're gonna make a lot of counters essentially. And then I want to look back at cabinets again because those were really cute. I'm really just liking these birch cabinets so far because I think they're really cute. Let's go make some stuff. Slabs. Ooh, you can just make that from there. That's so nice. Got some stuff, got some stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and move our bed upstairs. Slap it here, respawn point, great, great, great. And then I'm thinking this whole corner will be a kitchen. So let me also grab that. For now, we'll slap our stone cutter in a really safe spot, which is right there. I'm just gonna, oh, that wasn't what I meant to throw. We're gonna make a cute little kitchen. I'm also gonna check to see if there's like a refrigerator or an actual oven, like anything like that would be really cute. Even just for like aesthetic purposes, even if we don't end up like using it for something, it'd be cute. Oh, heck yeah, harvest moon. All right, garden expanded upon, not prettily, but that's okay. So let's look up, is there a fridge? Nope, is there an oven? There is an oven. No, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem useful. Stove, also, oh, a stove from the Farmer's Delight. <gasps> okay, campfire, bricks, we do have bricks. We got bricks, we got bricks, we got bricks. So we're gonna throw this here and I think we'll put the stove there and then we'll go like this. Give me these cabinets. I really like the cabinets, those are cute. I think what I'll do is I'll put the, I'll put two more cabinets there. And that's gonna go like that to the trap door. And we'll put the stove top there. All right, let me go get a bunch of iron because we need to start making some of our tools and stuff, all right? 
I think I want to use actual display shelves to show off those tools, but I can't decide where that should go. It's like, here's the thing. I can store them in there. These bad boys, which I can put here. I can store things in there. You know what I'm saying? But like the physical shelves are really cute too. Let me just make one real quick to show you guys. So if we go, so there's the shelves, which we could always put right there, but I can also put like plates on top of that. Listen. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. Can I do anything? I don't care if I can't do anything with it. Actually, I think it's adorable. What else does Farmer's Delight give us? It let's us cook things. Cooking pot, a skillet. Ooh, that requires more brick. Ah, oh, rice bale, oh, a crate. Okay, this Farmer's Delight has a lot of cute stuff, but how do I get, how do, where do I get a tomato from? Oh, I can make a carrot crate. Oh. Oh, I've seen the wild carrots. Okay, so we just gotta go look for them. So I need to go look for tomato vines and wild potatoes because I've never wanted something more in my life. I love these foods. They are so cute. Cabbage rolls. All right, so new goal. Whether or not we'll do that today, I'm not sure because I kind of want to focus on making, I don't know, not like maybe we need, maybe today we've plotted out the cafe and we've done a lot of mining. Maybe today we need to really focus on finding crops and stuff. Maybe that's our new goal. So first of all, I really just want to make a carrot crate because I can. We're also going to cook up. We're going to make a bunch of utensils as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make the utensils. I'm going to go ahead and make a carrot crate because I can. So I'm going to go ahead and make several things. First of all, here we go. So in order to make a cooking pot, it looked like there was one that was like, so frying pan, cooking pot. We still haven't gotten any glass either. So that's something we need to do to get a lot of bottles. Those are the two we made there. And then I need these to cook. And then there was one that was like that bet. And then if I go back to farm, I don't remember how to make the other one. It was this cooking pot. I need a shovel and a water bucket. Okay. I can do that. Nice. Is that something I could set up here? Do I do? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, okay, it does pick up. Oh, <gasps> that's everything. Oh my god, that's everything. Okay, I feel like we're gonna have to make another one, and then we'll put one there, and then we'll put the. Excuse you, I know I can look at you. Excuse you, you're ruining my moment. We'll need to make another stove eventually. I have to get a lot more uh, clay before I can do that and cook some other stuff up. So I think I'm gonna explore for a little bit and try to find some crops. All right. I'm gonna try to find some crops and mites. That's my goal is to find some tomatoes at least because I just, it seems I want the tomatoes, the onions and the rice. And it seems like we need to find those wild first. So I need to start looking out for those. Okay. Oh, 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 let me at least make the carrot crate first. Hang on. I love this. Oh my God. We're gonna have a little farm core. It's gonna be the most, <sighs> the cutest place. Believe me, what if we make a farmer's market too? What if we make, we have a little cafe and then across from our cafe, we have a little like farmer stall. Oh my God. I have so many ideas, so many ideas. We're gonna make like every single type of tree. Oh my God, we're gonna make an orchard. Never had so many ideas in my life. Never had so many ideas in my life. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put some stuff in my inventory away. I'm gonna settle my life a little bit. And I might go exploring for a little bit, all right? If again, if anything crazy happens, you guys will know, but let's see. We have a special guest, y'all. It's Weez. <laughs> it's Weez. <laughs> As you guys saw on my adventure, I decided to go to a sea temple, not that kind, but like a desert temple, but in the sea, you know, okay? I should have known it was a trap. I died. But as a result of getting, like during the process of getting my grave back, I did get a lot of prismarine, which was very nice. Now what I did discover, I found all of the farmer's crops except for tomatoes. However, I did find tomatoes from Croptopia and I looked up the farmer's recipes and those accept those tomatoes too. So we've gathered, I think all the crops that I need. I didn't end up gathering any sand. However, I did have some. So I went ahead and I made some glass bottles. So we got some stuff we can do. At a village, I also found some rich soil. So I'll try to figure out what that's about. I made another stove. So apparently when you cook with the skillet, you have your ingredients in one hand and the skillet in the other. So it's kind of like a real skillet. It's kind of interesting. We're learning here, okay? So like, Honey cookie. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that feels achievable. I wonder how to make a melon pops. Whoa, 
there's just like so many cute things I can make here. Like a sweet, like cheesecake. They're just so cute. Honey glazed ham. You can get smoked ham from ham in a, I guess in a smoker. We definitely need a smoker then. There's just like all these cute things we can do. We gotta figure out what the menu is gonna be of the cafe. And I still really want, God, I love it. I haven't figured out, look at that. That's so cool. I still haven't figured out how to get straw. I do not know how to get straw. It won't tell me how to get straw. And you need straw to like, there was a thing that I wanted to make with it. Oh, a basket. You need straw to make canvas. And I don't know how to get straw. I want a cutting board. Hang on, I want a cutting board. Can I, can I put it on here? Oh, that's everything. Okay. When fed to a tamed wolf. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, you can give them dog and horse. There's so many cool things here. Pie crust. We're also gonna need to get cows because we definitely need milk for several of these recipes. Apple cider. No, how do I get apple cider? Why are you telling me how to make melon juice but not apple cider? Yeah, so we're gonna need to get some milks. We're gonna need to get some cows. And it looks like we're gonna need a smoker, which I'll probably replace one of these two with. I want it to look aesthetic. Maybe the smokers could be on top of them. Although I really like being able to see up. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. And then for Croptopia, God, there's so many cool things. I definitely wanna be able to make donuts. Like that's like top tier something I need. So we really need milk. I did see cows nearby. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? There's also a dire wolf nearby though, so we need to be careful. But hopefully the dire wolf's gone. I saw some cows this way. Like they were literally just over here. You guys don't get murdered by dire wolves, right? There was a dire wolf in here, I think. A little scary, a little scary. That's all I'm gonna say, it's a little scary. <gasps> an actual, an actual wolf. Hello, child. I have like a single bone. I would love you as a pet, but I have one bone to my name. I mean, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. Let's see if this wolf will accept a singular bone. <gasps> There's a cow. You guys are just gonna go in with the sheep for now. Eventually we're gonna, we are going full cottage core. I've decided. Close that. We'll feed the cows. Open that, close that. Bet, 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 got it. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna see if I still have that one bone, which I think is in the, this guy. Single bone. We'll go see if the wolf will accept this. Woof, will you accept my measly offering of a singular bone? <gasps> Hello, woof. Hello, woof. Yes, freaking win. And a wasp, hello. I'll take some leads if you don't got anything good. A gray bundle, silver maple sapling. You definitely have more interesting things than I've seen in the past. Let me see what kind of emeralds I have. Those are like way better trades than, which means he's modded, but that's fine. We have three emeralds. There's nothing I can get with that. Hello puppy, you're gonna sit right there. Good job, boy. Love you. Dude, this day's going great. All right, he was right over here. And if not, I will kill him. What are you gonna tell the cops? He was literally just right here. There he is. <laughs> Hello, sir. Did you have anything good? Nothing I can get for three things. Um, I could just like, perfect. Look, I won't even, I won't even kill you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hit the corner of this. Shh, shh, it's fine. I just wanted the leads. Don't even worry about it, bestie. All right, very productive, y'all. And since it's no longer raining, I think what I'm gonna do. <laughs> is I'm gonna go ahead and build a little orchard. All right, I'm gonna figure out exactly what I want it over here. So let's go ahead and cut down some trees. We will include this guy in our orchard and we'll even put a little path through it, okay? First, before I go back out there, let's go ahead and craft all of the trees that I want. Okay, cool. We got a ton of those now. Okay, so one, two, three. We can do one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have five between each of them. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There we go. And I think I have one more, yep. So that's gonna be the start of my orchard. I'm gonna harvest this one and literally take it down. <laughs> Do I want it that close? Oh, they had already grew. Too late. Sure, why not? And then we're gonna take some torches. I really want to grab, I wanna see, there's a thing called posts. Post. Yeah, there's this thing called posts, like 
that. And I want to see. I'm curious if I can put torches on these. I'm assuming. I'm assuming I can. Also. There goes my shovel. That's fine. What we're going to do. Cool. All right. So my next question for you guys is, first of all, what should be on my menu at the cafe? And then also what kind of vibes are you feeling for the cafe? Should I also go cottage core with it or should I try to make it look kind of like Starbucks-y, you know? So we got, if it helps, we have Adorn. We also have Farmer's Delight and Croptopia. Those are like the places I'm gonna be looking for furniture as well as my menu. I'd love to have little like item frames with my menu on. I'm hoping to look, is there like, are there plates? Do plates exist? Hang on. I know they got pressure plates, but they're cute plates. No, oh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, the mugs, I don't know if we could place those. But the mugs are with Croptopia. I know we can make like tea and coffee and stuff. But that's where I'm gonna be stopping right now. Made some progress at spawn. We got a bunch of gear. Our crops are flourishing. Got a little orchard going. All sorts of stuff is going on. So, and also I'm thinking, I wanna make like a little pergola to hang these glowberries from to have as like a way for them to grow in like a cute way. But I'm thinking cottage core, and I'd love to know your guys' thoughts for future things I should build. As I'm recording this, episode one hasn't gone out. It's supposed to go out next week. So I'm still looking for answers on what we should do to get you guys involved in this this episode in this series so i'd love to hear your suggestions down below whether i could name a dish on the menu after you just saying i could try to do like whatever i want to know but thank you guys again so much for watching if you made it this far and you're not subscribed you should consider it because clearly you liked you got this far it mean, it mean a lot to me give a little thumbs up it lets me know you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff and i will see you guys in the next video bye